Hi everyone, it's Kasia here um, and today is another unboxing video. I have been um, waiting for a um, good moment, good day to open this baby here. Uh, this arrived from the Little Red Tarot. Um, it's, got, it's got little hearts, so a few hearts here as is customary for both. Um, so I cannot wait to wait to dive in and see what this is. Um, let's have a look. Wow, there's a few objects inside. Let's, let's take a quick check. like the fact that Beth is um, using a lot of uh, recycled packaging and that's one, one of her business um, objectives to uh, use uh, use that so you can see this is definitely uh, proof of this um, and there is a little note from Beth, her, her little business cards uh, attached as always to um, to the packaging. So let's have a look at this is a set of what feels like books or zines or zines. Um, okay, perfect. So the first one I wanted to show is this one. Uh, and it's a Fuzzy Prism Oracle Guidebook. Um, this is edition one, and this is by Holly Simple, uh, the author of Holly Simple Tarot. Uh, the reason I bought it is because it was running low and um, on stock, so I didn't want to miss out on the first edition of this guidebook. I am actually yet to buy the tarot, um, so I haven't got the... Oh, actually, sorry, ap apologies, it's an oracle. So it's a Fuzzy Prism Oracle, so I haven't got the oracle yet. Uh, but I will get this as soon as I can. Um, pull a card and allow your intuition to guide you. So it's a, a smallish uh, guidebook, but I'm happy I got it. It's got some um, head, head, so keywords or head headers, and then uh, a little description. So it looks kind of like ha handwritten, and some drawings on the other side. Um, so it looks great. Um, for example, for the card Cry, we've got Release, It's Okay, Release and Let Go. Um, and a picture, a uh, drawing of someone crying here. Cry, Release, Let Go, Empty, Wash. This is a cleansing action and needed more than we allow ourselves. Allow feelings to exist within you and move through you, good or bad. It's okay, embrace these emotions with a kind heart. Uh, and you can see the different types of emotions here. So yeah, I love um, I love Holly's style. Um, I've got uh, one of her uh, oracles, which is the Vessel Oracle. Uh, is it by Holly Stone? Oh no, apologies. This is by <laughs> this is by this is from Spirit Speak. So this is a different one. Vessel is a different um, different author. But yeah, Holly Stone. I actually haven't got the. Um, the Holy Stone, the Holy Stone, yeah, so sorry, Vessel is by Mary Elizabeth Evans. I do confuse them sometimes. It's a, it's a similar sort of a style of art, really. So, yes, I'm yet to get the uh, Fuzzy Prism Oracle, um, actual Oracle, and Holy Simple Tower as well. I haven't, I haven't actually um, got that myself. The other thing I purchased is this book. It, it is quite chunky. It is the Sacred Earth Celebrations by Glenny Kindred, and I've got a few of Glenny's uh, books. Uh, inside we've got Beth's a business card, or uh, yeah, so like introduction card. Um, apologies. In terms of other little pamphlets or books, I've got the Earth Cycle. Of celebration, which is great. The tree ogham, 
uh, creating ceremony, that's Glenny Kindred and Lou Garner, uh, as well as Elements of Change by Glenny Kindred. So, um, the re I actually really love these books. Um, I used one of these books for Beltane celebrations and there were some very nice ideas for how to celebrate Beltane. I've actually <laughs> opened this page on uh, Beltane celebrations. So there is um, a chapter for each, I believe, of Wheel of the Year, um, Wheel of the Year celebrations. Yeah, so we've got the Will of the Year, Celebration Ceremony and Ritual, and the Egg Celtic Festivals, including Beltane, Inbo, Klamas, Samhain, and so on and so forth. So yeah, so uh, looking forward to diving into this book. Uh, it's got 236 pages or so, maybe actually 230 plus index and thank yous about the author I recommended reading. Um, it is beautifully illustrated, as far as I can tell. Uh, how to build a sweat lodge. San, John, San John's Ward, Lemon Balm, Summer Solstice Celebrations. So it looks like there is a little information about the herbs and um, yeah, how to best celebrate. Preparations for spring equinox, decorate eggs, making flags, symbol of balance, dragons. And the underlying energy of spring equinox, a sort of Celtic art, Celtic hair. Yeah, so it looks like it's really beautifully illustrated. This is an uplifting and inspiring source book for everyone seeking to celebrate and honour the changing rhythms and seasons of the earth and her cycles. It explores the eight, eight, eight Celtic festivals and offers a vibrant contemporary approach that encourages us to celebrate on our own or with family and friends. Uh, perfect, so looking forward to that one. And finally, ta-da, we've got a little opening here. <laughs> I love the way it's been packaged this time. It kind of looks like a fishnet. And then the customary red paper. Let's see what's in there. I placed a few um, orders with Beth recently, so I don't remember what I ordered um, in which um, which order. So here we've got a little uh, pouch, a little sort of um, linen bag, and inside it's quite a nice big pouch, so that opens quite easily, which is really nice. And inside we've got Thea Staro. So we've got Thea Stara, which is from um, the rendition from 1984. Uh, it's actually the second printing, um, 2018. Um, so that's really something that I've been looking forward to, to exploring in a bit more detail. It's got a little... It has got a little... Um, pamphlet or like a white book if you like which is just literally this um, A4 format and uh, spreading the deck um, and some descriptions so a few words for each which of the cards so yes yeah, so this this originally is from Ruth West 1984 and it's been reprinted and second printing 2018 which is fantastic so I think they've also run out of these um, on Bev's website so that's why I want to make sure I get that before it runs out completely but yeah super excited about these um, it's a little bit of a different tarot um, comes in a tag box with this sort of special uh, symbol or drawing let me see if I can open that without ruining the box. That would be a shame because it's a nice glossy white, you, you, you probably can't see that, but it's a nice glossy white box. And here come the cards. Okay, so there's a little window here. So it's just very simple. And these are the bags. I believe this is a lesbian tarot deck. So that's the first in my collection. And the cards are sort of um, prints um, of cutouts, I believe. 
Um, so we've got Pentacle Mother first, Daughter of Pentacles. So the, not all of them are vertical, some of them are horizontal. So they have been renamed. So we've got the Pentacle Mother, Daughter, Amazon, Child of Pentacles. They're quite large cards actually. Um, if I compare them to Herbal Tarot, it's actually the same size as Herbal Tarot. So I believe this is normal tarot size. Here we've got Ten of Pentacles. Again, that comes horizontally. Nine of Pentacles, another one that comes horizontally. I actually quite like the fact that they don't, don't come, um, they are not um, all the same. It's a landscape rather than portrait. Six of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, The cardstock is okay, um, they are quite matte with a little sort of sheen, little gloss. Uh, it's a little bit on the flimsy side, um, but I actually don't mind that they are, they seem to be beautiful, um, beautiful artwork, quite original and unique, so um, it certainly will add to anybody's uh, tarot collection. So here we have swords. Three of Swords is again another landscape format. This one I know from the website, from uh, Beth's website. And again we've got Mother for King, Daughter I believe for Queen, Amazon for Knight and Child for Page. Ten of Cups, a lesbian couple with a baby. So certainly in an inclusive deck from that point of view. Um, although possibly all the um, characters in the cards are, most of them are white. Saying that there is a dark skinned one here, so it is a quite in inclusive in that respect, which is great. Two of Cups, another lesbian couple. Ace of Cups is a black lady, which is awesome. And then we've, we've got wands here. So yeah, it is a lovely deck. I wonder how it's going to be to work with it um, when you do your own readings. I mainly do readings for myself, although sometimes I do for friends and maybe a couple of clients um, here and there. But yeah, it's mainly for myself and friends that I do them. So, fantastic. Well, I'm really, really happy with this, with this purchase. And... Um, I hope you enjoy seeing art for um, art for temperance here. I hope you enjoy seeing these cards as much as I do. This is the first time I've seen them. Um, I've seen a few on the website, just as pictures, but it's always different, isn't it?
Thank you guys for watching and I hope um, you have a great day. Thank you.